What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fuel Efficient Channel. Today, I am bringing you guys a mystery tackle box unboxing. Since it's been quite a while, <laughs> since it's been quite a while since I brought one of these on the channel, okay? We're gonna be doing an unboxing for the Panfish box for the month of March. But before that, just to clarify, by the time you guys are watching this video, I will no longer be in this world. Nah, I'm just messing with you guys. <coughs> of course, <laughs> what I mean to say is by the time you guys are watching this video, I am going to be in Chattanooga, Tennessee, doing a collaboration with Chat Cats Fishing, aka my good friend Joe Jallison. If you guys are not familiar with Chat Cats Fishing, please, I'm linking the channel on the cards above, I'm leaving a link in the description of the video, go check it out, he's a really nice guy and he catches amazing fish, in particular catfish around the Chattanooga, Tennessee area. And of course, if you guys want to keep yourselves up to date with the Extreme Fuel of Fishing, right, please make sure to subscribe, actually not subscribe, make sure to follow me on Instagram as I will be posting photos of my daily catches per species, right? And I also make sure to, I guess, friend me on Snapchat. As always, I'm going to be doing my crazy 10 seconds Snapchats down there in Chattanooga, Tennessee. All right, I think this is all I had to say. Let's start with this unboxing. As you guys know, all my unboxings on the channel are ad lib. I have absolutely no idea what is inside this box okay and of course as always if you guys feel like i really really need to do an empty beast lamb with this box let me know i'm gonna leave a poll here above in this video so you guys can actually vote on it if i get a huge number of yes you should do it i may really go out there you know and just do it okay let me bang open it up i always like the sound effects on this channel you know bang boom but the bang well, never mind. Let me open up the box. You guys can have the first view of what is inside the box for the month of March, okay? We are talking about the panfish box right here. There you go. So let's see what we got for this month. Uh, first and foremost, let me get my little card here, right? What's inside the box. Make sure we got the right box. Uh, what we got here? Follow us on Snapchat! All right, apparently Mr. Taco Box got a Snapchat now too, okay. <coughs> okay, so I got here the What's Inside card and for the month of March, yeah, this is a panfish box. Indeed, I just wanted to confirm, okay? Mine is the panfish box uh, 17CO1. So you may have gotten the same box I got or you may have gotten it different you know if you got it different than the one i have here make sure to leave a comment in the description of the video uh, in the video you know so i actually know that that there are different boxes out there okay so for me this month okay i got the bevy minnow snackies by lucky craft it's already I, I i didn't even see yet okay but this is already a big bonus for me because i am a huge fan of lucky craft products as you guys no, right? And just uh, if you follow me on Snapchat, just this month, I think it was in the Pro Box. Mr. Attacko Box also sent me an amazing top water buzz bait made by Lucky Craft that I am dying to go out there and test once the weather gets a little bit better, okay? Uh, I also got a feather jig by K&E Stopper Yours. I got the Fulham Bobbers by Not Hedge. Tackle Company, I got the Tracers by Mismo, and the Witless Worm Hook by Mustad. So let's go through them one by one. Okay, so first thing that came inside the box, I want to take a look at the good old Lucky Craft. <coughs> because it says here that the value of the lure is actually $13.99. So I mean $14, you know, for a, for a panfish lure. And look, look at the size of this lure, okay? I'm not joking. Check out the size of this Lucky Craft lure. You see what I'm saying here? $14 for something this small here? You just know that it has gotta be high quality, right? Or a company without common sense. 
Well, thankfully, Lucky Craft has a lot of common sense. So let me open it up here. We got here the Area Master Bond and Stream game, okay? Is snacky ass. It weights only 1.7 grams. So let me open it up here. I'll definitely use it this bunch. If you guys want me to do this lamb with this little baby here. I think this would catch a lot of different species, to tell the truth. And not only that, you know, I mean... Look, this is irresistible for any fish out there. I'm not joking. Check this out. Whoo, boy! Very, very small. Let's see. Does it say here how much does it dive? Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know, man. It, says here, it only says here made in Japan. It is all Japanese at the back. And uh, Watashi, I don't speak Japanese. So, you know, hey, man. But here you go. There you go, huh? Very niche little lure okay it's got just a double uh, a single right two jointed hook at the back not a travel hook oh man i am dying to test this little fella because i can definitely see you know a lot of different types of panfish going after this okay talk about it this is really good this stuff right here okay second thing that came inside the box was the feather jig by k and e stopper lures on the value of three forty nine and i got it here right with me right little feather jig right very finesse style let's open it up it seems to be very very cool <laughs> all right i should stop doing these accents on this video seriously now this is something very interesting okay because uh now we are in march but it comes mid april to may we actually have here in philadelphia what is called the shed migration okay up on the delaware river and the schuylkill river we have different types of shad that swim up the river you know to spawn right and usually for shad people use these things called shad darts you know i have shad darts with me i've used them for years i have caught the american shad on it right the alosa sapidissima and the hickory shad the alosa mediocris which is actually kind of a protected here in pennsylvania always on shad darts okay now when you look at something like this right just those little feather jig i just i can't stop help i i can't help myself you know i i keep thinking like if i use something like this the shad will probably bite you know and not only shad right different species of fish in different types of streams and rivers when they see something like this in the water look how soft the back is see and when they made the cut, right, it wasn't just any random cut. You guys can see from the, from the lure itself, right? It was a waved pattern cut, right? These are the little details that if you are a good angler, you just don't, don't miss it, right? So this is something that I would definitely be willing to use around my area for different species of fish. And I would definitely save these for April. You know, when the shad are swimming up, go give it a try. Third lure that came inside the box was the Foam Bobbers by Not Head Tackle on the value of 150. There you go. You good your you got your good old traditional float by Not Head Tackle. Give me one moment. Someone just rung the bell, folks. Oh my man. So yeah, sorry for the little interruption, guys. That was actually Creeper Kid's friend from school. You know, he wanted to uh come in and play with his friends while well, little he knew that we have work to do here in this household huh no i'm just messing but anyways going back to going back to what i was saying right uh this is a very very simple float by not head tackle okay let me just open it up here real quick for you guys to check it out these are really the type of floats that i used to use back in the days even when i fished in brazil you know as a kid right look there's nothing is special about it one little single float with one little part to attach right and look every float in the market pretty much works the same way it is just you gotta choose your float depending on what type of situation you are in right sometimes you're jigging you may want a weighted float sometimes you are just still fishing then doing some suspended fishing with pieces of night crawler you don't really need to jig you just want it to drift this is the type of float that you want right and when using a float this is something actually quite important for me to point out okay a float is not only really important to do your suspended jigging it is actually really important in terms of finding the depth of your bait i don't know if you guys are familiar with this or not 
if you attach this to a line and at the end of the line there's a little hook right and your hook with your bait it is weighted right is all the way down your float is gonna be like this on top of the water right and then if your weight if the weight of your hook plus bait is suspended in the water right and there is enough weight there your float is gonna be in this position right so adjusting the float on your line up and down you can find the perfect depth for whatever species of fish that you are targeting and since i was a kid back in brazil when we were down in brazil catching pearls cichlids right the <clears throat> geophagus brasiliensis or even just the regular tilapias over there my dad always used to tell me son when you do your float on your line the best position for these species of fish is that your little bait there on your hook is just above the bottom you know that's where you want it to be for these type of fishes to bite right so back in brazil what we would do we would cast our line out there in shallow areas right and then we would adjust the float up and down until the float was in this very specific position not totally vertical not totally horizontal but a little diagonal position and that's when we knew that when the float was like that right your bait was just a little bit above the bottom you know not quite all the way down but not quite all the way up and then the fish would see it it would bite and this is what the float would do right it would shift upwards and go down right so anyways this is just a brief three minute explanation on how floats wo work you know non-weighted floats these are the type of floats that i really used to use back in brazil for my fishing we also got here in the box on the value of 219 the tracers by mismo what are the tracers by mismo Ooh, okay so i never seen the stings before i mean the company i mean the edge by the mismo bait company but the lure i am very familiar with it right we are talking about mini tubes this is these are pretty much what these are right so every time i open a pack of something i always smell it Whew, it smells oily right already and then the second thing that i do i check how soft the lure is right because we want to find out what is its ratio of durability and flexibility so there we go uh, it's pretty it's pretty durable here on the head and let's check out the tail, huh? not bad, not bad, check this out, huh? not bad at all, right? These are perfect for you to perforate, well, you know, I don't want to say this without, well, these are perfect for a jig head that is weighted, right? And you guys know how to hook the stings on the jig head, right? Put it through the back, right, comes from the top, perfect for those jig heads, weighted jig heads, right, for tubes, and I can see the action of the sting in the water already being really really good okay so yeah that's definitely something that i would use for crappie uh back a couple years in new york the first time that i actually attempted to use tube lures right was at hyde lake little lake in new york that uh i decided to hit uh after my family went there you know to visit the niagara falls and i caught a good amount of white crappie on those tubes right it was a really fun time that was my first time using lures like that and the last thing that came inside the box was the witless worm hook by must add on the value of 299 this is a tough thing for panfish you know witless hooks i mean the size is not that bad right for the must add but in terms of just the hooks themselves I mean, what type of panfish would you, would you have to target, you know, to, to use this type of hook, right? Weedless, right? I mean, not, not a lot of them. I can see a few circumstances, a few occasions where you have to fish cover for different types of panfish, right? And they are like aggressive panfish. You want to fish there on the cover and they will hit, right? I would think probably about either a green sunfish, a Dilepomi cyanellus, or a warm mouth, the Lepomis gulosus, if you have that around your area, right? If you were fishing little streams with cover and stuff like that, you probably would get hit by a rock bass, the Amblopletis hupestris. But look, I mean, in theory, right? This is a really good hook, right? There you got the little weed guard that comes out here. You can pop back right there. And I, I guess the good thing about these mustad hooks is 
if you don't really need the weed guard, well, too bad, right? All you need to do is boom, punch it out and cut it there, right? But I mean, why, why would you buy the weed list, right? If you want to get rid of the weed, right? But hey, very, very nice stuff. I would be willing, definitely willing to put a little night crawler here, right? Boom, just put a whole entire life night crawler and just ruin right on top of some weeds or some cover. But of course, I wouldn't be targeting only panfish, right? This weed guard kind of helps not get all that green gunk and maybe a large mouth bass would be able to come up and get it. You know, we are talking about a live night crawler, right? Or any type of, you know, worm imitation in the end. So this is what it came inside this month's mystery tackle box. I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried my best to add little bits of knowledge here and there so that you guys actually have an idea, you know, of how to use the things that it came inside this box, right? For your panfish around your area. If you got the same box as me, I'm pretty sure you got a good idea. If you didn't, well, I'm pretty sure Mr. Tackle Box, somewhere in their website, they teach you how to use the stings, okay? Let's see what else came here. We got the little other KVD sticker, another sticker for my collection. And of course, we got the little Debo book, right? Full of information. Let's see if there's any YouTuber in the Dibble of this month. I see the other KVD, I see tips here and there, I see some appeal, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, guys, this is it for March's Panfish MTB unboxing. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, by the time you guys are watching this video, I am going to be fishing in Chattanooga, Tennessee, hunting for some authentic blue catfish, channel catfish, flathead catfish with my good old friend, Joe Jellison, so make sure you add me on Snapchat and Instagram if you want to see the things up to date. Otherwise, videos are going to be out on the channel in a few days or so. Thank you very much for watching this video, folks. Tight lines, and until next video. Ah, check that out, huh? I have absolutely no clue what is in here. So let's let's be careful, okay? Let's be careful. My man, what is this? Okay, so there's nothing there, right? Then we got a little, then we got a little, I, I'm taking this with extra precaution, you know, guys? Because, I mean, you never know what the subs are going to send you, you know what I'm saying? Open up here very slowly.